crazy sniper. Three shot sniper. Look at that. Another one right there. Oh, he took out. Whoa, what the hell, man? You took out four? Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hello, every single one of you beautiful people. My name is Terrence, and today we'll talk about Black Ops 4 because uh, last time I made a video, it was about Black Ops 3. And uh, the video got some pretty good responses. So I'd like to say that today we're looking at Black Ops 4. Welcome everybody to the channel. As you guys might have noticed, I've got myself a new headset. And I do got myself a boom arm for my microphone as well. So I'm really investing in this uh, YouTube thing. Uh, I come from Twitch where I used to stream every single day. Uh, and now I moved on to YouTube to do that and see if I can do that full time at some point. And you guys will be able to help me with that. But guys, let us get started with the video and let us talk about Black Ops ops 4 because that is an amazing game and we have a lot to talk about in it so let's get started with the video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like the video if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe because that will help me a lot more and i'll see you guys very 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 soon yes As you guys can see here, I am with myself, and uh, today we'll talk about Black Ops 4. As you can see the gameplay behind me, it is some gameplay that I took uh, while I was playing. And uh, just to kind of like uh, make sense of the scene and make everything look a little bit better. But today guys, we'll talk about Black Ops 4, uh, which was released last year. We'll talk about the good stuff of Black Ops 4 and we'll talk about the bad stuff of Black Ops 4. Uh, also something is called pros and cons, but we'll, we'll get into that. It's pretty much the same thing, but we'll talk about those things and we'll talk about the game in general. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's get straight into uh, to Black Ops 4. So yeah. So, let's talk maps, because maps is one very big important thing for me, and I think that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 did the maps very good. Um, they had a lot of reuses, well not really reuses, but they had a lot, like, not a lot, they had a couple of reuses, uh, especially the map called Jungle, they took from Black Ops 1. Uh, this time it was all flooded though, and then we had Nuketown. I can't remember if there were any other specific ones, but I know for a fact that these two maps were... were uh, well, Nuketown was really a map for itself, but it was just a redesign of and the same with Jungle, but... I really like the maps in, in Black Ops 4 because they're so big, man. They're... I really appreciate... well, they were, they were big for the, for the amount of, of time you could run and for the, uh... It was very big maps, and I really appreciate that. One thing I don't like, though, is the is the fact that there was most of the maps were designed around these like uh, call, like not Call of Duty but Counter Strike. So we had long, we had mid, and we had uh, we had short. So and those like there was three ways you could come from. You could either come from the middle, you could come from the left side, or you could come from the right side. And those those are one of the things that I really don't appreciate about making maps in games. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare exemplary it has has a lot of of good uses for these maps because they're not just the way that uh, they used to make maps. They are definitely different. And you can come from all angles, you can come from all places, there is no long mid and, and left and right and whatever. There is just a map and you can run how you want it to run. Um, Nuketown, I've always... I liked the first map of Nuketown. I appreciated it. It was very good, it was very nice and people really, really look... Like, like, people really loved it. So they decided to remake the map three or four times. I can't remember exactly how many times they decided to remake the map, but... This time in Black Ops 4, I think it's the fourth version of, of Nuketown, and I hate the map. I can't stand Nuketown, any, Nuketown anymore because there's three places you could come from. You can either come from the right side, the left side, or you can come from inside the house. And those are the three places you can come from. The map is so small that even 6v6, 6v6 is too many players. Um, the zombie version that they made of the map, amazing. I loved it. It was very nice. It was very good. I just don't like Nuketown multiplayer with more than four people at a time like uh, four in each team of course um other than that maps in call of duty black ops 4 were amazing i really like it i really loved it actually because they 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 made maps different from what what else they use well from how else they used to make maps because back then they used to make maps really small like really small uh don't look at call of duty modern warfare for uh, two for an example because call of duty modern warfare maps 
Well, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 maps were out of this world. They're perfect, they're good, they're awesome. They knew how to make maps back then. Appreciate it, appreciate them for that. And I'll always, I'll, I'll make a video sometime about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 because those maps were amazing. Anyway, guys, maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 were good, but they could work a little bit some other way around with not having those three places you could come from. But other than that, the Call of Duty maps were amazing and I love them for it. Appreciate how they made the map. And that is, that is pretty much it, man. So good, good for you guys on making maps in this game modern warfare has uh, has an amazing new feature that they're going with they're going with every single dlc that is supposed to be released in the game is supposedly free uh, which it had which it has been so far um i think that every other call of duty from now on to whatever where in the future should be released with free dlcs because i think it's a lot better I think it's very bad to to have uh, to like divide the community into those who have DLC packs and those who doesn't have DLC packs. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 did the exact same thing. Some maps were free. They made some maps free, especially Nuketown came free to PC and Xbox and PS4 and everything. But I think that in the future, from every Call of Duty now, they should make every single DLC free and you should you should have a shop on the side like they have in modern warfare now where you can buy skins you can buy uh, oh, like skins and voice voice packs and and emblems and stuff like that would be amazing would be amazing if they did it that way also well not really anything also that is what i want and that is what i need and that is what every every other person need because i think it's annoying that we have to buy dlc packs because it doesn't really add anything except for some new maps and some new weapons and i think that everybody who bought the game should have access to those things and then make a make a thing on the other side like make it make a make a shop so we can buy stuff and you can earn the money that way i think it's a lot better so we've we've given a lot of good things about call of duty black ops 4 and now i'd like to say something that is not good because one thing that annoys me is the amount of customization i know i just said that this game is not a uh, well every call of duty is not a military simulator but one thing i really appreciate about modern warfare that every other single call of duty hasn't been up to pair with is the amount of customization that you that you're able to do on weapons you're able to make a you, you can take a lee enfield or a motion or whatever it's called and you can cut off the barrel and you can make it shorter you can make it like kind of a yeah you can make it a shorter version you can make it a longer version you can put every single yeah, you can put so many up, uh, uh, attachments on top of it you can do so much stuff that i really appreciate call of duty mod warfare has done an amazing job with customization on weapons whereas in every single other call of duty you have been able to take one attachment well one side and on top of that one side you can put like four or five extra attachments like and you have to like kind of decide it doesn't really make the weapon it doesn't change any appearance of weapon it's just it, it just does something you know um i like the amount of customization you can do in modern warfare and i think that black ops 4 needed really to step up their game in terms of uh, of of adding attachments so that is one thing i miss about i miss about having having uh, well after that is something i miss about in that game it is something i miss in that game holy bowl english english hello hello uh yeah but guys that is it that is it uh not really it but you know just like every other call of duty that we have uh it's pretty much about the same thing shoot a lot of people run around you gather weapons well not really gather weapons but choose a loadout kill people and do all the good stuff but if you guys have watched my other video called taking a look at call of duty black ops 3 in 2020 you guys remember that i said something along the lines of call of duty black ops 3 used to emphasize a lot on skins in the game well specifically call of duty black ops 4 was really into skins and when i when i talk skins i talk skins like these i talk skins like those right here i talk like i talk crazy ass skins um some people like the skins of the game i was a big fan of it because i kind of like skins when when they're a little bit funny and uh, when stuff like that happens so i really appreciate call of duty for what they did with that game as you can see now in more of modern warfare we don't have a lot of those funny skins we do have more serious skins now but one thing i really liked about call of duty black ops 4 was the uh, was the amount of, of skins they they could play around with it wasn't so it wasn't so lame if you understand what i mean
it was really it was really nice to finally have a game that emphasized and took what black ops 3 did and just put a lot more on top of it it was very good it was very good i appreciate call of duty for what they did and uh, i'll hope that we'll get it back again some not some other time but yeah that is uh i hope we'll, we'll get it back some other time that uh, that was very nice that was very nice in call of duty black ops 3 i said that the time to kill was uh was pretty long it was pretty long i feel like in black ops 4 it's pretty much the same i don't think there is, is a lot of is, there is a lot of difference i think maybe it's a little bit shorter but i can't be too sure because i haven't looked into the details i haven't looked into the numbers i haven't looked into anything to be honest i just for me it feels like that it's a lot it's a lot of um, it's a lot it's, it's not a lot slower it's just a tiny bit slower and i really like the time to kill in call of duty black ops 4 because it gives you time to like run out in the open if you made a mistake out in the open you were able to recover go back uh, behind some cover well whereas in call of duty modern warfare as soon as you run out you're dead if you're seen by some enemy uh the time to kill is perfect well not perfect it could use a little bit of adjustment here and there in black ops 4 but they did an amazing job and i really appreciate them for doing it modern warfare 2 well modern warfare is a little bit too fast i'd say well not really too fast i kind of like it in modern warfare it's just no just a little bit slower like a little bit a little bit tiny 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 bit adjustment and it would be perfect but yeah i really appreciate those two those those games man and their time to kills but black ops 4 really blew it out of blew it out of the out of the world man so yeah that's awesome that's awesome thank you so much thank you so much in uh, call of duty black ops 4 one thing that i noticed because i used to play a lot of call of duty well not use i play a lot of call of duty modern warfare at the moment one thing that i noticed in call of duty black ops 4 is an amazing feature that that you might not know or will uh, kind of like have an eye on too much but when i played i could see my teammates full body through the walls amazing that is a feature that needs to stay in Call of Duty games, because Call of Duty is not a real-time uh, military simulator. Call of Duty is a is an arcade shooter where you run around in a map and you kill lots of people, gain kill streaks, and shoot the fuck out of people. It's not armor. It's not some other military sim. Black Ops 4, you could see people through the walls. You could see people their full body through walls. In Call of Duty Modern Warfare sorry if i'm if i'm uh if i'm using call of duty modern warfare it's because it's, it's their nearest game and i ha i like to have something to to compare it to but in call of duty modern warfare you can only see this blue dot and sometimes this blue dot goes on top of an enemy because the teammate further away the teammate further away is is like standing on top of the on top of the enemy that that is closer to me so sometimes i can actually mistake an enemy for a teammate because i see this blue ball in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, you can see enemies through the walls. You cannot do that in, in many other Call of Duties, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Call of Duty Black Ops 4, well, not Call of Duty uh, for Black Ops 4, but Call of Duty, the developers that made Black Ops 4 needs to re-implement re that feature into every single Call of Duty because I love that feature. It was one of the best features that you could ever ask for because you were able to see your enemies and you could and you could like easily identify between your enemies and and your teammates so take that back take it back and take it back one more time please ladies and gentlemen that is it for Jareth. i'm done sitting here talking to you guys about what's up what's good what's not good this game is awesome it's very good if you haven't played it yet install it play some multiplayer I still sometimes play, play it because it's a lot of fun. It's something else from Modern Warfare, something else from all the, all the other Call of Duties that we had. It's I I would give it I would give it a, a good a good solid eight out of ten. That is for sure. I would give it an eight out of ten because it's an amazing game, and I think uh, it really it really emphasized on having the arcade shooter with everything else running behind it. Uh, I I love that they removed the uh, the jetpacks and stuff like that. I love it was a boot on the ground. Call of Duty, which we all missed, and uh, yeah, I appreciate it. So really, guys, if you have the game, install it, play some multiplayer because it's actually a lot of fun, and still a lot of people play that game. Actually, it's it's very nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. So uh, yeah solid game but it's very nice so yeah guys appreciate it thank you so much for having a great time thank you so much for watching this beautiful 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 video 
don't forget to like subscribe comment do all the good stuff don't forget to take care of yourself and your elders because of coronavirus and yeah guys keep an eye out for everybody always be in a good good mood and always try to take care so i see you guys in the next one